We've seen a whole lot of interest in working with wood chips in the garden over the last number of years. And I see lots of examples of gardens where people are just setting in motion back to Eden, gardening methods or sheet mulching methods. We've shown some of those. But I'd like to show folks what it looks like when you commit to wood chips in a heavy way after four years. So I'm going to go into this high tunnel where I've been starting seeds early in this cold scenario and show you what some four-year-old beds look like that are almost entirely wood chips. So stick around. If you're interested in a little more detail in the context of where we are and what's going on, I'm going to link here to a video uh, that describes how this sub one-tenth of an acre front yard was converted over to incredibly productive permaculture beds using wood chips and permanent raised beds. So you can check that out if you're interested. But what I'd like to do is show you the soil in here. So here we are in a cattle panel high tunnel. These are four panels, so it's about a 16 foot long um, high tunnel, about seven and a half feet wide. And what I've been doing today is starting to work up some of these beds to get ready to start uh, nursery seeds. Now these beds were created back in 2015 um, with almost entirely wood chips, a little bit of clay, a little bit of compost, but about 90% raw wood chips by volume without any discerning choice of no pine, no black walnut, just whatever wood chips we could get for free, piled them up. Was not super productive year one, was okay year two. Now we're a few years later and I just thought folks would be interested to see if you commit to wood chips as your main soil building treatment, Here we are four years later, and the deepest portions of this soil have evolved into basically pure worm castings. This is some of the finest texture, most beautiful soil I've ever seen. Um, we grew tomatoes in here last summer. They grew beautifully. They required very little watering. And now what we're doing is we just apply more mulch each year in the form of sawdust, wood chips, what have you and keep building the beds upward. But that foundation of soil, there's no tricks here. We didn't switch out just this one section. This whole greenhouse, this whole high tunnel has that kind of soil. So that's what it looks like in the long run when you commit to woody debris as a key building block in your systems. One technique we've been using quite a bit, we've talked about before, um, I want to mention it now, is each season adding deep, deep mulch in our permanent walkways. So in this case, we need to do that. That hasn't happened yet this winter. So it's a little bit bare, a little bit wet. But what we'll do is fill this with fresh wood chips or sawdust quite deep. And that keeps all the weeds down. It keeps moisture stored in the soil. And after a season of that, we'll go through with a shovel, we'll scrape that up and use that as our mulch or our top dressing for these beds. And so that's what I did in the fall, and that's part of what contributes to this quality of soil. So for those of you that are starting to explore the idea of what does it mean to build permanent beds that are heavily uh, invested in wood chips or almost entirely in wood chips, it's kind of nice or maybe it's a relief to see that after a few years, this is the kind of soil you get. The most critical thing I want to convey is that if you start building beds with wood chips or sawdust or unconventional building blocks, organic matter, and you don't get what you hope for year one, be patient. Uh, a lot of these systems, it's about the long-term yield of overall fertility, resiliency, soil structure, water holding, drainage. All those aspects seem to evolve over time. So be patient with these young materials that you're building beds out of if they don't work perfectly right out of the gate. We were super loose in how we went about this, and we paid for that by having a year of lack of production, but then everything works out in the end with systems like this. Build your soil deeply, deposit deeply, and it becomes deeply. <laughs> Thanks for watching.